Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your magical moon message. When I tell you I am overjoyed in my soul, I'm overjoyed in my soul because the whole series of what's about to happen this week alone is going to go down in American and world history as some of the most revolutionary controversial events to ever happen. In the midst of a fake ass pandemic where bioterrorism was leashed out in front of our faces and we have this fake ass rigged election too, trying to really act as if we're that stupid. Other than that, I've titled this video Mastering Your Superpowers because if you still don't know you've awakened supernatural abilities, you're gonna fucking know today, okay? Uh, excuse my vulgarity, I'm excited because a whole lot of what we've been trained for is about to really be put into as true as Virgo is, you know, known for practice. Shout out to Sagittarius because Venus is there and Sagittarius is showing us the beauty and standing in our truth. Shout out to motherfucking Aries because we've been active and live with Mars there and a lot of people think they're real until it goes down. Other than that, the moon is in Virgo, ninth house to the sun. This is an ascension aspect. It's a closing trine. And let me tell you why. This is one of the most important moon transits, this transit, okay? When the moon was in Gemini, we were understanding how to truly use our abilities. We completed it with the full moon, and now this moon in Virgo is going to have us definitively master our initial understanding of our abilities so that by the time this is done, you are actually experiencing practical wisdom and fleshing out real techniques about how to use your superpowers, but really master them, okay? The whole basis of this is really more unconscious and subconscious than conscious. And so in the social axis of the Zodiac, Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio, do you feel my passion? Yo, it's going down, y'all. It's going down, y'all. Joe Biden canceled the inauguration and, 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 and you about to see some special evidence come out against all these motherfuckers. Okay. So let, let me just tell you with the moon in Virgo. Okay. In this social axis, the reason why Virgo is reality is because Gemini is the individual experience of truth. And Neptune in delusional ass Pisces, no no offense to Pisces, Pisces is OG, but 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 y'all are trying to twist the magic of Pisces to, to, to really push forward this delusional nonsense. There's an individual experience of truth through Gemini that we need Virgo to flesh out is real. The reason why Virgo is a social sign is my individual experience of truth is different from your individual experience of truth. And so socially, Virgo fleshes out what is real about both of our individual experiences through Gemini so that we can actually flesh out what's real and not what we may think. This is crucial because up until this point, a whole subsection of people have been content with believing in a lie, especially with Neptune and Pisces that's enabling delusions for you to believe in whatever. But that's why Virgo is opposite Pisces, because you can believe in whatever, but is it fucking real? Okay? There has been an illusion that people have been content with believing versus other of you who have accepted the truth. Those of you who accepted the truth had to face ridicule for that. But now this energy's flipping versus people who were content in believing a lie. Now they're going to have to actually face the tension of realizing that when you enable a lie as the truth, it's not really the truth. And so it doesn't last. Now these same people who were peddling bullshit since the whole beginning of this fake pandemic are going to have to hustle their receipts. I want you to think about every single claim these people have made and how contradictory it is to evidence and information coming out now. When I, when, listen, you've heard that a lot of stuff is gonna come out at once. This is it. Moon and Virgo is receipt moon, okay? So get ready for some terrifying, horrifying news to come out or liberating and amazing news if you want the right side of truth. 
at one level, we're mastering supernatural abilities. At another level, the responsibility of maintaining your own perception is catching up to you. And for some of you, that's an amazing thing. For others of you, because you were in denial, it's going to be a horrible thing. And let me tell you something. I'm well aware that I have an understanding of how I want things to play out that may not play out the way that I might expect it, but reality is always better. So I'm gonna accept that. What you need to understand is now more than ever, because the North Node is still in Gemini, you need to stand in truth. Not what you think the truth is, not what you want. There's there's, there's the narratives and esoteric lore about the mystery of Christ and God that was written and you read, and then there's the reality of it. And just like any movie and the anime, there's slight differences, you feel me? Okay, there's just slight differences that can go a long way. This is where these differences are not only gonna be fleshed out, but you're going to gain real, real, real insight into how to maneuver and navigate these differences and, of course, integrate it with the reality you're existing in. So, the next couple of days, especially with the moon opposite Neptune, is going to flesh out a lot of preconceived notions, deceptions, and let you know it's actually real, despite the lies that you've received. And this is important because it's one thing to say that you've been lied to. It's another thing to see real evidence of the sort <laughs> that's going to blow minds all over the world. Not like it hasn't been out already. But the reason why this is so pivotal during this transit is that this is concluding a cycle that was started in fuckery. If you remember, I put out the video on my channel, The Quantum Invasion, to suggest right at the beginning of Saturn and Aquarius, I'm gonna make a part two, that we are being invaded by quantum forces that you cannot see, okay? There's a transhumanistic agenda along with the Luciferian aim of getting us to forsake our consciousness and alter our DNA. So many ancient manuscripts have warned of this period, the last days, and it's here. This is why the journey to go inside and unlock your true self isn't just novelty. You see, you see how quickly this spirituality was trended so that it could be seen as a cool thing instead of an essential thing? Because now you're reaching a period where if you cannot, har listen, you have limitless ability within your soul to harness facets of yourself that if you keep on waiting to hear it on CNN or some scientist affirm it, you, you lost. You have to go within. It's, you don't have any choice. If you're still depending on systematic structures outside of yourself, the time will come where you have no choice but to rely on their infrastructure. And once all this stuff gets technocratically aligned and the slave you know, system that they're slowly but surely gearing up for Agenda 2030 is set up, you're going to have to depend on this aspect of the system just to eat, just to work. And if you do, that's on you. Simply because you have the power and ability inside to not have to rely on that. But of course, that requires work. That requires a very complex level of understanding. And most simply, that just requires believing in your goddamn self. Uh, something that a lot of people were afraid to do because we're conditioned to. And so the act of being yourself is truly revolutionary. Now that Saturn is back in Aquarius with Jupiter, those of you who took that risk to do so, you're getting paid off for it now by mastering your abilities. Everything that you're mastering is going to go into the moon in Libra, and this is going to be tested in how you can incorporate that with your social interactions with other people. It's going to be wild. It's going to be gnarly. But more importantly, the next phase of shenaniganery is afoot. And this is where, for those of you who know the truth, you have to stop getting disturbed by news media that you see outside of yourself. You're definitely allowing other people's opinions to mess with your reality and the peace that you're supposed to have inside. And you can't blame anybody but yourself. If you're still worried, you have an expectation of what you think should happen versus just being in tune with what is 
so much that has been falsely put. You have to understand there was a there was an outcome that was supposed to happen now that didn't happen the way that certain dark forces wanted to. And with the moon opposite Neptune, they're going to try and sweep this under the rug. Okay. Um, if you don't know what to look out for, you will let people hit you with the okie doke and be like, don't look over here, guys. It's not important. Look over here. Look at the zebra. Look at the sheep. Look over there and keep talking about what you see. Because the whole notion right now of this war is peer pressure against, oh, I don't want to look uncool. I don't want to do anything that's unacceptable versus those who don't care and are pushing forward the truth. It, it, the, the, the war has already started. This is an economic war first and a spiritual war first before the guns get blasted. So on the road to the sixth, where there's so much evidence that's about to be released to the world at large, this is very, very important because everything that's happening now is really asking you who are you through this process the actions that you've been taking that everything that has been done last year is going to go down in history to really define who you were during this conflict were you speaking up and were you actually standing up for the truth were you standing up for lies getting emotionally reacted and swayed by people who don't have your best interest at heart were you just observing and watching in the gray area like it's all quantified we all know who you are you all know who we are like it's it's all out there but this is a very, 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 very pivotal period before we step into Aquarius season and really kick off this revolution where 29 degree. I'm going to put them go live on this on the fifth. So stay tuned because it's going down, baby It's going down, baby. On the sixth, 29 degree Leo rising President Trump has called the Patriots to meet up in D.C. on the sixth where Mars will be 29 degrees Aries. Hmm. Right before it goes on Uranus, do you do you know what's going? Do you know what's going down, guys? Like, where are you? What are you doing? You, everyone has a role to play here. Do you know who you are? Because that's going to help you master these super abilities. And because the moon is opposite Neptune, it's going to flesh out supernatural experiences from the astral realm to have you be receptive to how this plays out really in this material universe. And it's going to reveal facts and details that to many of people in the world will be almost impossible to believe, but actually still have factual standing. It's, 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 it's going gonna, it's gonna to be first hit with a wave of denial, but more and more receipts are going to come out. More and more receipts are going to come out. How you doing? That are at this point undeniable to, you know, uh, let go. Um let me give you an example of mastering, you know, your superpowers. I've been having to manifest, um, you know, now that I'm back in Vegas, someone to, to do my braids, right? Um, my manifestation ability is so fire now. I'm <laughs> like, I don't even have to really do much. As soon as I get back, um, I link up with my next door neighbor who does hair. And she fire. Like, she, she doesn't just do hair. Like, she went to school for it. So, like, this is almost as dope as leaving the house the other day before uh, Christmas and saying, you know what, I might need something to get around. And within those 10 minutes, bam, someone gave me that. So, you know what I mean? Like, just like I'm mastering these abilities, you are too. But this next stage of mastery is going to take you there. And, and in order to really align this right, you need to really go within and remind yourself who the hell you are. You are not a TB. You're not a SK. Okay, you're not a total bitch. You're not a spiritual Karen. Don't be afraid to be courageous and stand up for truth because there's a flip side to this. For those of you that are aligning with the truth, the North Node and Gemini, moving forward, energy is going to hardcore flip again towards supporting that, but you're going to have to face those who have allied themselves with darkness and don't wish to accept the truth. And this is where your courage is needed to stand up towards that and not be a total bitch. I'm going to just be real. Do you remember you're in a war? So stop complaining about what's going on and let's march forward to victory because it's going fucking down. Coming into the new moon and cap where nothing will ever be the same again once we enter Aquarius season. Are you ready for revolution? Then master your goddamn superpowers and I will see you at the top. Peace. Oh, it's going down. Liars beware. Reign of terror.